Hello everybody, my name's Drew and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Hanging out here in our blood altar room because I wanted to make something special and that started with making some imbued slates. Now these, if you guys remember way back, I talked about these earlier, are the third tier of slate available from Blood Magic because we have a tier 3 altar. Um, we're going to be using them to make a couple of items that are going to help us on our ultimate mission of getting to a tier 4 altar so that we have a chance at actually automating this whole sucker and never having to worry about uh, life points again, at least in theory. Um, so to get that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to automate this sucker right here because we've got more than enough LP to actually make this work for a little while anyway. I just have to come by and, and smack these guys every so often. Um, and uh, the reason I want to do this is we need a whole bunch of just basic runes. Because the idea will be to do what we did for this layer and replace the uh, crappy smooth stone with uh, actual runes. But we're going to need quite a few slates in order to do that. Um, so, yeah. Look forward to me doing that. But that's why we can semi-automate this. And all i got to do is run by every once in a while and smack these guys and make sure that we have enough blood in the altar for, for this to work. But uh, yeah, any, anyway, let's go build what I actually wanted to build here. I'm actually going to turn this off for a half minute. Yeah. Yeah? Stop. Stop. Please stop. There we go. Um, one of the really, really fancy runes that we can make is the augmented capacity rune, and that's, uh, that's what we're going to make right now, because it is extremely useful for our endeavors. So I went rune in here, and we take a look at the augmented capacity rune. Uh, that would be this one. We're going to need our Magician's Blood Orb, which I believe is in our inventory, three little buckets of water, some regular stone, thankfully, and imbued slates. And I want to make four of this, so that means we're going to need 12 buckets of water in actual fact. So we can toss that guy there. Toss them there. And I guess we can grab buckets. And we do have, we have six. Well, that's fine. Close enough. We can make this work. And we have, oop, that's the wrong floor. This floor is what I want. And we'll go ahead. Um, I restructured the fire system a little bit. Um, mostly up top because what I realized I was doing is I was deleting all excess um, wood. And the problem with that is that it was still round robining meaning that uh, it was still sending a lot of wood upstairs to get deleted rather than actually making use of it for our steam system. So I have since fixed that. Okay, so there we go. There's six of them. We will need another six, but we can come back down and get them. Not a big deal. Alrighty, so if I go like this and I go... Ugh, god damn it. He does this stupid thing with the T still. I've not figured that out. I wish I could figure that one out. Wait, why did you use extra? I should have had six. Where did my extra bucket of water go? Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That should have made. How did you use. Okay, anyway. I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to accept that that was weird and. Move on. I'll go back upstairs. I'm going to have to come back for extra water now, aren't I? Uh, the things I do. So yeah, I wanted to get a little uh, more on the magic side of things in case you couldn't tell. Because I'm kind of technology to out. That's so weird that it wouldn't let me do that. So we'll need to get three more buckets and we're good. Because we did a lot of technology in the bees thing. The bees are slowly automating themselves, just uh, breeding and getting our stocks up so that we have enough bees to work with. Um, I also need to find way more bees. And like I said in the last episode, or last couple episodes, I'm having a real tough time finding uh, any forest or uh, meadows hives, which is really weird. It's very, very strange. Like, those should be fairly abundant, but... Yet they're not. Lots of curious hives, though, and other ones that I'm like, don't care about. I mean, it will work for any hive bee, uh, so long as they're generic bee. Oh, my. 
Okay, hold up. Wait, why are you turning into a... I don't think I asked you to do that, so you're going to come with me. Oh, I guess because it was stuck in there. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so, Rune of Augmented Capacity. Let's space this sucker out so it looks nice and neat. I think at some point what I will do is have an actual straight-up tier of these guys just because it means we can hold more in the altar. But if you have Runes of Sacrifice down, then really you don't need a ton of capacity runes because you can just easily replenish it with you know, a single thing. So our maximum capacity of this guy is now 10,000. Which was, so if I take that out, how many does this give us? Maximum capacity is still 10,000. Que pasa? Runes of Dislocation. What the hell did I build? What the hell does the Rune of Dislocation do? Oh, they need empty buckets, not water. But God damn it. Well, I'm an idiot. I'm going to go fix my mistake and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so after that little boondoggle, we now have three imbued slates. Because I was wasting time. Ah, screw it. We'll make a fourth. What the hell? Should have another... Where did that reinforced slate go in the inventory? Screw it. We should have enough in there to make that. Ah, uh, god damn it. I can't believe how dumb that was. That was just super dumb. Super, super, super dumb. Thank you. We'll now make the proper fucking runes. God damn. I don't know why that I did that. That was really foolish of me. But anyway, we all make mistakes. Not Rube. Well, I'm a Rube. But no, not Rune. Okay, so that's cool. That's fine. I'm gonna put those there. That's the augmented capacity you made too. Um And we'll make the other two. Get back here, Blood Orb. I need you. There we go. Okay, so now we have the four runes that we actually need. Because I'm not completely dumb. So now we can actually legitimately hold more inside our Blood Altar. So it turns out the runes of dislocation are actually used for something completely different. Their purpose is for moving liquid life essence around. Yeah, you can totally have liquid life essence. I didn't know that either. But uh, apparently that's a thing that you can have. So if I ever decide to do that, then that'll be great. I'll be able to do that. But until then, not so much. All right. Now it's our 1,800, 18,000. That's much better. That's actually what I wanted to see. Okay. So now if we've got that going, I can actually get this going on complete automation with just having to do this every once in a while. So let's trigger that guy up there. And I will let this guy cook up as much as it wants. I'll just stand here and spank these guys with my knife. That came out a little weirder than I wanted it to, but that's okay. So we're going to, hopefully at the end of this, be able to get a tier 4 altar. Quickly, let's review what we need to do in order to get there. We have rune. To make a blood rune, it is simple as... Just a, a weak or actually any blood orb and our blank slates. We will need a bunch. So I'm hoping to get how many do I currently have, I wonder. I can actually find that out. Let's go find that out. Eleven. We have eleven in total uh, with five other blood runes. So we don't need that many. How many do we need for side? We need like seven per side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have one whole side. We just need three other sides. So we need 21 meaning that we need 42 of these slates in order to actually achieve a new tier. However, what do I need to make runes of sacrifice? That's superior capacity. That's not what I want. Efficiency would be good, but sacrifice is what I want. So we would need a bunch of reinforced slates. So I could possibly do that as well. I actually make like several more of those and put those in the bottom tier. So if I were to make, I would need one, two. So I could probably do that. I could probably put, make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Make eight of those. So I would need 16 reinforced slates in order to make 
that. So I might actually do that then. Well, anyway, this is going to be my life for the next little while as I let all of these cook into slates. And then I'll, uh, I'll be back, guys. And we'll, uh, we'll make ourselves a tier 4 altar. Alrighty, guys, we're back. And I am ready to actually put the runes in here. So you can see we now have 30 blood runes, more than enough. And this tier of the altar has been modified to have speed runes in the corners, extra runes of sacrifice, as well as augmented capacity. Again, strictly not necessary for the runes of augmented capacity. It's it, long term probably better to have just runes of sacrifice. The speed runes, believe it or not, are actually important because it makes our, you know, automation process a little faster. Let's go ahead and let's go and move these all on out of here. And you guys will get to see what happens. I love that we pre-built this though. Super, super good idea on my part. Which I totally took from Direwolf20. Because that man is a genius when it comes to this game. He thinks of things that like, man, I could not even begin to think of. And uh, then I take them and try and make them better. Or at least make them, period. Because there's stuff that he's made that I'm like, how did you even do that, man? How is that even a thing? All right. Let's hop on out of there. All right. So what's going to happen when we click this? <gasps> tier, still a tier three. Oh, no. What have we done? Actually, we've done absolutely nothing wrong, except for we've omitted the stone cappers that go on here. Well, they're not stone, per se. To do this was going to require a little bit of extra. If you remember way back, way, way back when we started designing this, you should remember that in order to cap the tier 4 altar, I need bloodstone brick. And in order to get those, we need something called blood shards. Not the bloodstone brick that was available through uh, factorization, uh, unfortunately. Oh, no, it's mine factory reloaded, not factorization. Yeah, no, we need the blood magic variation. Um, can I get rid of? I can get rid of those. And that. Oh, and that. And that too. And these. Not the shovel. I need you. Thank you very much. So in order to do that, we're going to need to make something kind of interesting. So if I go blood magic... And we can see right here something that we need to make. So we got to make, first of all, a master ritual stone and then some other ritual stones. Ritual stones are kind of a pain in the butt to make because you need reinforced slates. Don't worry, we have more than enough to make what we need. We also need to make a master ritual stone, which I'm going to make right, not right now, actually. I need more slates. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a few slates to use. Oh, got that whole thing there. So the runes, uh, the ritual stones are pretty easy. Actually, all you need is the reinforced slates and some obsidian. Got those, except for the slates. <clears throat> uh, and then we need the master ritual stone, which is just four. Oh, that's four ritual stone. I thought they were. Uh, okay. So never mind. We're gonna take these, and we're gonna turn a bunch of them into reinforced slates then. But the idea is here. We're also gonna be making. Where is this guy? This one right here. Not place dust greens. Well, we don't need dust greens. Can't place dust greens. Can place dawn and dust greens. Interesting. So we'll need really high tier to get that. So we're going to be making um, these things right here. These elemental inscription tools. Because, oh, damn it. I was not paying attention. So we got ourselves an immune slate. Didn't need one, but we have one. Hold on. Let's go back here. Gives us a fairly decent amount of blood per kill now. So that's good. I guess. If you're into that kind of thing. So I actually have to watch these, unfortunately. So anyway, as I was saying, we're going to need to make the elemental ink because that will make ourselves, will allow us to make, wow, I'm having a really tough time speaking. That'll allow us to make the Master Ritual Stone. Once we have a Master Ritual Stone, we'll be able to make a Ritual of Binding, which will get us the bound blade that's right we're going to be making the bound blade because that's the only way to get blood shard and that shouldn't take us too long to do and i'm actually excited to have access to that delightful weapon once more because it's actually fairly overpowering well would i call it overpowered no i wouldn't call it overpowered but it's pretty good it's pretty damn good 
because it's one of those things that doesn't take durability or durability damage or any of that kind of stuff. It just kind of always exists and does its thing. Uh, I don't remember how many how many ritual stones I need. I guess I better make a bunch of these and be in slates than I or reinforced. That's what I'm looking for. But we'll make a bunch of those and we'll make our ritual and then uh, if we have enough time, I will in fact be able to complete the tier 4 altar today. I'm going to go ahead and turn our Zom Zom spawner on. And I can't believe I just called them Zom Zoms. Good job, me. That's awesome. I do. I want what? I want 18 of these? 16 of these? We've got how many right now? 10. No, I better go 24 to be sure. Because I actually have no idea how many of these I'm going to kind of need. I may have to make a cut to make a whole like complete stack of them. Which is not a bad thing, because they are useful to have around. I'm loving how fast the uh, the spawner is. It may not be the most efficient system that we've built just yet, but I'll be damned if it doesn't get the job done. What I'm looking forward to is though uh, is getting that tier four altar. Oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. So I'm looking forward to getting into that uh, tier four altar because it will allow us to make the next version of the Ritual Diviner, as well as make a very handy ritual for automating the use of blood magic. Because rather than me manually killing these guys, uh, there is something that's going to let us automatically kill them. Super useful. I know, right? I'm really, I am kind of annoyed that we can't use the old uh, trick with the sacrificial knife. I feel like that we should have been able to do that still, but... I guess you can chalk up to magic and technology not wanting to play well together. How many of these do I even have yet? 18. Okay, so we're getting there. Oh, okay, hold on. I didn't realize the magic pool was that low. My mistake. Oh, and then you immediately become... God damn it. I'll screw you then. Okay, so we got enough to make at least a few ritual stones. So let's go do that real quick. Then we can see about making the elemental ink. We're going to need two sets of it though. So if I went now. Ritual stone. I like that. Beautiful. How many do you let me make? Oh, you made me make another 12. That's useful. So I got 16 in total. Beautiful. Master Ritual Stone. That's going to go like that. And now I'm going to grab Orb Magic. Thank you. And there's our Master Ritual Stone. Beautiful. I will actually take the Orb. No, I'll leave it there. That's fine. Uh, that's okay. Okay, so we got our Orb. We have our Mitchell Master Ritual Stone. Man, I'm having a hard time speaking today. Uh, where do I want to make this thing? Uh, you know what? Outside is kind of a pain in the ass right now, but don't have much of a choice, do I? Eat that real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is grab something useful here. Review. And we're going to go outside. I guess I... Well, whatever. Oh, no. No, no. Let's make the, uh, the ink. So how do I make ink? Let's take a look. I guess I should go. Okay, so the elemental inks, the ones that we can make anyway, will be water, which is a block of lapis. So we'll need two blocks of lapis. Ooh, magma cream. Ugh. Can I make magma creams? Yes, naga. Na or nag with... Equal signs. Oh, I've got magma creams. Oh, thank God. All right. Two. Two magma creams. i get rid of all that in the air. Give ourselves a couple blocks of lapis. Groovy. What else did I need? Um, let's see. So I got the water. We got the fire materials. Where are you, ink? Hey, why can't I find the ink in this list? 
Oh, there they are. So we got that. We got the fire. We have what is earth? Earth is obsidian. Easy enough. Air is a couple of gas tiers. So if I grab obsidian, when well, my game unfreezes. Thank you. Do those, and then we want gas tier. So we have a very nice 15. Perfect. Okay, so we can go back and we'll make our elemental inks two at a time because this will get consumed and then I'll make another quick cut in the video to go ahead and finish converting what we need there's one you can see how fast that goes though crazy awesome there's two I'm going to get rid of the things I don't need like those zombie heads and that rotten flesh one guest here Let's fill the altar back up while we're at it. And thank you. Two obsidian. And then what was the last one that I needed? Two of what? Oh, magma creams. I needed the magma creams. Right. Uh, no, not not that. Like that. Okay, two magma creams. Oh, do be quiet. Perfect. Okay, so I got everything I need. So let's make ourselves a ritual diviner, and then I will make a quick cut, finish up the actual slates, and then, and then, we'll make ourselves a ritual and see what happens. Okay, clear all this crap out of here, and we're going to say ritual diviners. We can make this bad boy right there. Huzzah! Okay, so we have ourselves a ritual designer. Diviner, not designer. I want to say let's sleep really quickly. And we end up with daytime and no rain. I kept thinking I, I want to make somewhere nice for the altar room, or the, what do you call it, thing room, ritual room. Okay, so we're here, it's about middle is what, here, next game, okay, fly, thank you. I guess I don't want to go this way. Eh? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to build the ritual for now. And then uh, we'll come back with everything ready to go. If that sounds good to you guys, I'll be back in just a short moment. Okay, guys. We're back. And uh, oh, I, don't, I can leave that here. Uh, I had to do a bunch of sacrificing there for a little while. In order to be ready to do the ritual that I have already set up. Because I've been, I've actually tried to do this like three times and then I keep remembering that there's other steps to do. But here we go. I still hope me God if this isn't ready to go now. I'm going to just literally blow my world up. Okay, so we have our ritual set up here with 24 ritual stones arranged in this circular pattern. And what you end up with is four air runes, four fire runes, four water runes, and four earth runes set up in exactly this fashion. The actual orientation of the whole ritual doesn't really matter because it's symmetrical. So we could go ahead, take our weak activation crystal, which has already been assigned to me, but even if you weren't sure, you shift right click it, you click there and you say a rush of energy flows through the ritual. Aha, so you're saying it's ready to go. If I toss our diamond sword down, you'll see that it starts to absorb a lot of the energy from our soul network. And you can see our soul network uh, has 94,000 LP in it. And then it should, after a while, convert itself into a bound blade. Not sure how long this will take. Hmm, maybe it wants a fully repaired sword? Hold on. Hold up. So hopefully that ritual stays running for half a second. I guess I'll just make another sword real quick. Uh, I want diamond. Boop boop. 
Uh, do we have any sticks left? Are we? No, that's not sticks. Apparently my tiki is not working again. Great. One fully repaired diamond sword. Because screw it, I don't care. We got a ton of resources. Okay, so now if I take this guy and throw it yonder. Oh my goodness. Woo! And my game is lagging. Oh man. Ooh, wow, that was loud. Rip everybody's ears. Okay. Hey. Hey. Where's my bound blade? Did did it just steal my sword and then give me nothing? Nah, hell no. Come on, you have to give me the bound blade. What was that? I don't know what that was. That was weird. Son of a bitch. It 100% just stole my sword and didn't give me anything in return. How much LP is in her thing? Well, we can do it again. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a little... There's a little meter in my corner now for blood. Wasn't that interesting? Well, I'm gonna do it again. Because I feel 100% cheated out of that. If it still doesn't give me... Oh, come on, game. Don't be crashing on me. Very lag. Very, very lag. Okay, let's try this sucker again. Oh, that was weird. Okay, hold up. Weak activation crystal. Click. Okay, and... There it is. This time we got ourselves a bound blade. And the bound blade is freaking amazing because look at that. Look at the damage it does. Pretty dope on those hits. And it doesn't kill instantaneously. Uh, that would be bad because I have to put a debuff on these enemies. And eventually we should get ourselves ow. If the game would stop lagging on me. Thank you. Ow. Okay, since when do you shoot that quickly? Eventually, it'll give us a weak blood crystal. And then that'll let us build our tier 4 altars all day long. Let me go over here. And now it does, this sword obviously being that it is a blood magic thing, takes a little bit of life point, like LP. In order to work, actually we can go kill everything in the altar with this and it should 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 I'm gonna take the garbage can out of the equation here and we should net ourselves at least at the very least one oh, god dang it get that out of there so if I go over here and turn you off and uh, the van blade does not just continuously drain LP it's not that cruel. It only works when it's hitting things. Yeah, you definitely don't want to uh, kill things right away. So there we go. We've got three. Can you pop up in there yet? Nope, not yet. I unlocked a head crab. That's kind of cool. Seven. All right. Hot diggity. And when you're done, it returns to this weird kind of ball mode. Not sure what you would can get like an amorphous blob kind of thing. I don't know. And I can get rid of all the stuff I don't need, like this gunpowder, all that. That, that. Potato guy. And a tool up, perfect. And then these can go into a chest. Such as this chest. Now, how do I make you into bricks? Oh, I'll turn the thing on. Now, if I go you, this episode is going to be just a little long, but deal with it, because this is important. Okay, so how do I make bricks out of you? Shapeless. Oh, perfect. Only Oh, I only need one of them. Oh, awesome. All right, do I have any stone lying around? Probably. And by probably, I mean definitely. I definitely have... Of course, the T button doesn't work. But you see it does this thing where it highlights... Yeah, I still don't get that. 
keep mentioning that because it still confuses the hell out of me. Uh, I guess I'll go to the repository over here. And if I go like this. Oh, look at that large bloodstone bricks. So if I go and cap this sucker off, we should have ourselves a tier 4 altar. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and the survey says tier 4 altar. Hot diggity daffodils. We have got ourselves a complete tier 4 altar. Super awesome. That means next episode, we're going to be automating this guy with a shiny new ritual that will do us very nice things. As always, guys, if you like the episode, go ahead and leave a like. You can always find other work I've done in that, that description box below. And, of course, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.